So we, we had a good uh, question uh, for this public portion on YouTube, which was, are there uh, manifolds that need higher and higher dimensional space in which to fit? So can you think of a manifold that requires you know, 3D space in which to fit, and then one that requires 4D space in which to fit, and then one that requires 5D space in which to fit? And the answer is definitely yes. And uh, the easiest example that you should have in mind is, is spheres. So let me talk about spheres in all dimensions. Okay. So, um, cool. So let me talk about the um, um, dimension of the sphere. And I'll draw for you I'll draw for you the zero dimensional sphere, the one dimensional sphere, the two dimensional sphere, and I probably won't <laughs> draw for you the three dimensional sphere. Okay. And then we're gonna draw um, uh, the sphere of that dimension. Okay. So let's start with the two-dimensional sphere. Everybody has in mind their picture of the two-dimensional sphere. Here it is, it's the surface of the ball, nothing else. So I might draw that by giving myself 3D space and then I draw this surface of a ball, okay? So you can describe that 2D sphere as all points in three-dimensional space that are distance one from the origin, okay? So this is a 2D, manifold inside 3D, it's a two-dimensional sphere. Okay. But instead of starting with 3D space and looking at all points distance one from the origin, let's start with 2D space. So I draw 2D space and I look at all points distance one from the origin and that's a definition of a circle, right? So this is a 1D manifold in two-dimensional space. So the circle is a one dimensional sphere. You need a disentangled sphere from being necessarily two dimensional. The circle is a one dimensional sphere. Let's start with 1D. Okay, here's 1D, the real line. I look at the origin. I won't draw it, but there it is. Okay, <laughs> then, I, then I look at all points distance one away from the origin. That gives me one point at negative one and one point at positive one. So this is a zero dimensional manifold, a collection of points in one dimensional space. Okay. So the zero sphere is just two points. And now when I want to get to the three dimensional sphere, I consider 4D space, which is hard to draw, you know, but to a data analyst, it's not that bad. You just measure four numbers about each uh, each object you have, and then you've embedded your data set in 4D. So now look at all points distance one away from the origin in 4D space. That is a three-dimensional sphere. It's a 3D manifold inside of 4D, okay? And it doesn't fit in any lower dimensional Euclidean space. So the three-dimensional sphere fits in four-dimensional Euclidean space, but it does not fit in three-dimensional Euclidean space, et cetera. So you can do this in all dimensions. You always have an n-dimensional sphere, which fits inside n plus one dimensional space. And it's a set of all points distance one away from the origin in n plus one dimensional space. It sounds made up, but once you get used to it, mathematicians become quite comfortable with spheres. We think of spheres as easy objects, even if they're very high dimensional, eventually. And um, even though you can only visualize the first three dimensions so well, the same math works, works in all dimensions, going up to whatever high dimension you want. Any public questions? Thanks. <laughs>